Welcome to the Brass, Sean's Unitainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where I always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated with the latest backstage rumors, news, and developments on the WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose. It was at one time the road to 100,000 subscribers for my channel. Now it's just simply survival, not becoming homeless, and trying to make YouTube my job. It may not be the smartest thing, it may be bold, but I will continue to do what I gotta do. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the latest before I go crazy like Dean Ambrose. It's interesting to note that according to DWN, Dean Ambrose won the WWE World of Weight title at Money in the Bank from Seth Rollins as there had been a lot of negative backstage talk about Dean Ambrose over the past few months. Going into the WWE title change, there was a feeling that Ambrose had been phoning it in and some have commented that he hasn't looked too good backstage after his matches. There was a lot of criticism over his recent feud with Chris Jericho. Remember, of course, the rumors of Dean Ambrose dropping the WWE title soon because WWE was not high on Dean Ambrose. Well, when you give Dean Ambrose the ass-backward booking, when you deliver Dean Ambrose the way you have, when you cut him down, when you slim him down and you take down what makes Dean Ambrose tick, when you take that character, when you take that development, and when you do what you've done to Dean Ambrose with the inconsistent booking and the losses and some jobbing and some jabs. and Listen, can you... It's not Dean Ambrose's fault. I mean, I can't believe that the, this is even going on. I can't, this, I can't believe that this report is even getting over right now. How can you blame Dean... Dean Ambrose right now is going on a collision course as one of the most fightingest WWE champions in the past several months, Okay. Dean Ambrose is getting the reaction. Dean Ambrose is getting the response. And this is after all the negative bullshit that Dean Ambrose has had to deal with. Ambrose did not have a standout match at WrestleMania, but it probably wasn't his fault. Because the booking and the creative with Dean Ambrose has been so hot and cold, it's absolutely ridiculous. I do not see this as a Dean Ambrose fault. I see this as a WWE fault. And I can't believe that Dean Ambrose is the center of attention in this negative press. This is absolutely ridiculous, and Dean Ambrose is taking out his frustrations on Sergeant Slaughter in this match. Your comments, your opinions, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com, where I always try to keep it prolific, consistent, dedicated, work around the clock for all the viewers and subscribers who truly watch me. And ladies and gentlemen, now knowing that what we know now about Dean Ambrose and there being heat on him, and the WWE thinks he's phoning it in and there's heat, well, you can tell there's a lot of heat on Ambrose when he's about to um, tap out to Sergeant Slaughter as we're about to witness right here, which is going to be uh, reckless and um, doesn't make sense, which much of the booking and the creative behind Dean Ambrose doesn't make sense. I guess even WWE 2K16, the video game knows that um, there's a lot of criticism and there's a lot of detractors of Dean Ambrose backstage. And Dean Ambrose is about to find out firsthand because he's about to lose to about 70 or 80-year-old WWE legend Hall of Famer Sergeant Slaughter. And this is just the worst of the worst, if you ask me. Your comments, your opinions, the road to me becoming not homeless continues on YouTube.com. Share, support, subscribe. If you would like to donate below, click the link below and donate. Any dollar amount will be recognized and realized. Thank you. More to come. Subscribe. Awful.